This is the Lano Gaming Laptop Cooler. Now the company did send this sample over for creation of this video, so let's go ahead and take a closer look at it. All right, now as you can see, this is a pretty large gaming laptop cooler. It accommodates laptops between 15.6 inches and 21 inches diagonal. So you're gonna have a wide range of laptops that this cooler can keep cool. Now one of the really cool features about this cooling pad is that it has this really neat memory foam rectangle right around here. So that way it can make a really nice seal between the bottom of your laptop and the cooler itself. That way the air coming from this 5.5 inch fan is only being directed up right to the bottom of your laptop, keeping those internal components cool. So that's gonna bring in fresh air from the bottom side of the cooler up through the fan and into the bottom uh, air intakes from your laptop and then out. You don't have to worry about any of that nice fresh air escaping because you have this nice memory foam uh, pad around the sides here. This isn't just standard like styrofoam or open cell foam. It is memory foam. It has a nice soft touch to it that's going to mold right to the bottom of your laptop. Now this 5.5 inch fan on the cooler has an operating speed of 300 to 2800 RPM. And you can use this little roller dial at the bottom of the unit to adjust that fan speed up and down. That range of speeds is going to allow for the perfect balance of performance to sound output from the cooler. All right, so in order to turn this cooler on, there is a touch sensitive button here, and we just hold that down for a couple seconds, and you'll see that the unit kicks on and indicates the speed of our fan. Now by default, the slowest that can go is 300 RPM, but every notch up of this roller takes that speed up 100 RPM. So you can just go up to the sound or speed of your choice. Now I will say it does get pretty loud once you start getting high in speeds. Now you can roll that back down if you'd like to reduce the speed of the fan, as well as the cooling performance of this cooler, and obviously the noise output as well. In order to turn the unit off, you simply hold down on that touch sensitive pad again. Now also found at the bottom edge of this cooler are two little arms here that fold up. That keeps your laptop in place. They have a nice little rubber pad here to make sure that the laptop stays in place when it is on the cooler. As you can see here with this arm folded up, it just makes it over the edge of the laptop body. Now that can adjust a bit because you have that foam there. So different heights of laptops are definitely able to fit under there and stay in place with the arm up. Now taking a look at the right side of the cooler base, you have a couple USB ports and a power port. So first up, we have three USB type A ports. You have one, two, three here. These are all labeled as out, meaning it acts like a hub for your laptop. And then we have this single type C connection that is labeled as in, and that's where you're going to connect the included USB type C to type A cable to your laptop. And last up, we have this DC in port that is for connecting power and the included power brick. Now you also have a little LED indicator here that glows green when power is applied to the cooler itself. I think this is a really handy feature here, frees up some additional USB ports for your laptop. Now along the back of the cooler here, we have this kind of honeycomb pattern. There are no lights or anything like that. It does look like it's a little translucent, but that is just a sticker or um, label there, no lighting or anything like that. But it is a cool uh, design feature. I really like that. The left side of the cooler is free from any sort of ports or anything like that. All right, now taking a look at the bottom of this cooler, you can see we have a couple adjustable feet here. You can leave them in the flat position. They do have a rubber pad at the bottom of them, but you can also flip them up to get better airflow for this fan itself. So that's gonna give you some additional height to the laptop cooler base. You also have two rubber pads here at the bottom. That just ensures that the cooler itself stays in place on your desk. Now, another really cool feature about this cooler is the included fan filter. And you can remove that filter by simply releasing these clips and taking the filter out. That way you can clean any dust that may have accumulated in this filter. And Lano actually provides an additional filter for your use. That way you have plenty of lifetime out of this cooler. 
Now, as you can probably tell here at 2800 RPMs, this cooler is quite loud. Now it is keeping the GPU very cool compared to the other speeds. The average temperature here is 44 degrees Celsius compared to a much higher 62 degrees Celsius with just the laptop itself. Now also included with the laptop cooler is this 31 by 14 mouse mat. This is a really nice uh, inclusion with the cooler, adds a lot of value to the product, has a nice rubber backing material that's gonna keep it exactly where you want it on your desk. And then a really nice, soft, smooth finish to the top with this cool earth planet uh, design here on the front. All right, now after taking a look at the Lano Gaming laptop cooler, I can definitely say that this thing does the job of keeping your laptop cool while under pressure. Now, it does get pretty loud even at low RPMs. This fan is just quite the noisemaker at five and a half inches in size. You can run it at that 300 RPM and get decent performance compared to just like using your laptop as is. Throw it on here at the lowest RPM. You're gonna get a little noise out of this, but you're gonna get much better performance. But once you really crank up the speed of this fan, it does get quite loud. All right, so if you're in the market for a cooler for your gaming laptop, you know, anywhere from 15.6 to 21 inches, I definitely recommend taking a look at this unit from Lano. All right, now, as always, I have a link to this product down in the description below. That's an affiliate link over to Amazon if you want to pick up one of these coolers.